What's up guys? Juice here. I'm up in the UP of Michigan with Reezy. We got in last night maybe around 7 o'clock, hiked in, got to camp maybe about 9. We've got uh, about a 40 mile adventure planned up here in uh, Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. We've got iffy weather as you can probably tell. It's uh, pouring rain right now. It poured rain all night. Um, we maybe got 16 miles to do with that today, so honestly, we're in no rush. It's uh, October 21st, so the weather is cool. It's only supposed to be a high of maybe 48 the whole trip. Lows in uh, probably the mid-30s. So we got some iffy weather, but that's all right. That's definitely part of it. So we're excited to be up in Pictured Rocks. Never been here before. Um, definitely should be uh, fun with the, uh, the weather, the views, and uh, the good time. So excited for another good one. Come along. Telling you, doesn't get much better than this. A little rainstorm up in the north woods. Got fall colors all around you. A pop tart. Got some hot coffee. Just laying in the hammock. Toasty warm. Totally dry. Forgot how nice it is to be in the hammock. Definitely nice, especially when the weather gets bad. So glad to be up here. Should be a fun adventure. Here's the site we stayed at last night. There's actually, that's site two. This is called the Cliffs in Pictured Rocks. There's a bear bin right there. Store your food, which is super nice. I set up right here, it's a great spot. Stayed toasty warm all night, high and dry. We got Reezy's packing up. Staying dry under here, high and dry. Yeah, how'd you sleep? Warm and uh, pitter patter all night. Nice. No complaints. Yeah. Pure Michigan, as they say. Pure Michigan. They, they can't lie on the billboard, so. <laughs> right. Truth and Good morning from Michigan. Got on the trail about 9, 12 today. Only have about 16 miles, so we definitely took our sweet time relaxing, having some coffee, staying warm. It was uh, raining this morning. It's not now, which is super nice. Um, yeah, we're maybe half mile in. We haven't been on the trail very long, but it's probably mid 40s right now. Maybe a little cooler. It's maybe 10 mile an hour winds. I uh, got the new. Uh, Senshi Designs hoodie, so I'm trying that out this trip, and I have to say that is real nice to wear on the trail because it's it's warm but it breathes really well. So temps like this, super nice to hike in. So we'll see how it goes. It's the first trip, so I don't really have an opinion on it yet. But anyway, yeah, first trip to Pictured Rocks. We kind of traverse Lake Superior the whole time, which is nice. It's kind of fun to be on the other side of the shore since uh, spent a lot of time up on the Superior hiking trail and. This is just uh, the Michigan side of it. So yeah, should be an interesting trip. We have rain pretty much all day, every day this trip. So we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of slop and mud and wetness, but we got a lot of good gear and yeah, we'll be just fine. So yeah, excited to uh, explore Pictured Rocks and see what it has to offer. Yeah. A great abyss last night, but now, hey, there's a lake here. Wonderful. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pure Michigan. So 
we're backpack electrofishing. This survey is particularly for the coaster brook trout, which is a pentadromous um, life history trait of brook trout where they run out to the lake and then they'll come in to spawn. So we're just using electricity to run fish. Um, I'll hold up this. Identify them in a hole. That's a nice fish. Yeah, so this is a coho salmon, which is one of the introduced non native salmon. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's wow. a great fish. Yeah. I brought the Tenkara rod. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? Okay. Man. Very cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Have a good hike. Do. Using proton packs. Look at that. Make sure you don't cross the streams. Right, stop for a little lunch. We're about 12 miles in for the day. It's probably a little after one o'clock. Uh, been a good day, a little chilly. Uh, man, the wind really picks up when you get towards the edge of these cliffs, but uh, yeah, it's been solid so far. So Pictured Rock's got some views and a lot of them. So lots of little spots you can go, you know, have lunch, you can go see a good view or, you know, just take a seat and relax. So it's been cool so far. We uh, getting some lunch. Got the old standard jalapeno chips, some dry salami. Uncrustables. It's fancy cheese. What you got, Reezy? Well, I like to call this uh, 1,000 year old cheese. Ooh. Uh, I got some Schweiger, big meat tube, and then some pita chips. Nice. Yeah, standard. Yeah, you know. So, it's gonna be a good lunch. We're gonna hit the trail. We only have uh, 16 today, so just about four miles left. So, we're gonna get to camp pretty early which will be nice because there's uh, rain on the way. So we've been pretty fortunate today that there hasn't been any rain. And uh, hopefully we can get set up before the rain sets in because I think pretty much all day tomorrow and all day Saturday we're supposed to get rain. So fingers crossed on another dry night uh, before we get to camp.
headed on this hill here. Gotta get water. The only place to get water at the Cove's campsite is out of Lake Superior, so we're gonna have to figure it out. Just a little choppy. Well, that was more of an adventure than we were expecting to get water. We set a time it just right to uh, make sure that we didn't get soaked. We both got a little bit wet. We both decided it was probably better to wear our rain jackets next time we have to go down. But anyway, we're all watered up for the night. It's just starting to sprinkle a little bit. So uh, both of us have our tarps deployed and we're just gonna kind of hang out, maybe play some games, uh, cook some food in a little bit and just relax. Nice getting to camp at four or five o'clock and have plenty of daylight and uh, time to hang out. It's definitely supposed to rain a bunch tonight and then for the next couple days. So we're just trying to enjoy the last uh, last little bit of time before it starts uh, kind of raining for the next couple of days. So anyway, we're gonna hang out for the night. I don't know much, I don't know much I'm gonna film after this, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we do and check in. But other than that, maybe I'll just see you in the morning. All right, buddy. Brought you a little surprise. I don't know if it's your flavor. Whoa! There you go. Cold beer! Woo! You carried that all day? All day, buddy. Oh man, what a guy. What a guy. There you go. Thanks, buddy. For sure. It's icing on the cake. Enjoy that's it. That's a tall boy, too. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, do it right. 19-2, that's, uh, that's more than a tall boy. <laughs> Hopefully the flavor's good for you. Oh yeah, all day IPA, that's a good one. Good. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it. Good morning. Just a little after nine o'clock, just finished up some breakfast. So you can probably hear it still sprinkling out a little bit, not too bad. It's really supposed to kind of be this way for the next couple days. So kind of our new reality, which is fine. Um, yeah, I probably got down to mid thirties last night, slept toasty warm in the old superior hammock and the enlightened equipment, 20 degree quilt. Uh, yeah, good night. I think we went to bed maybe about 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock, uh, woke up around 8, so solid night's sleep, so it's always nice uh, getting some extra sleep, a little more than normal, uh, but yeah, so good night, warm night, comfortable night, and yeah, we're going to hit the trail in a little bit here, there's really no rush, it's a pretty uh, pretty easy, pretty mild day, so uh, really no rush to get on the trail, but yeah, we'll hit it here soon, and uh, yeah, enjoy more time uh, up on the North Shore here.
All right, it's 11.45 and we're done for the day. Uh, we're all set up. Got Reezy behind me here. I'm set up here. And we're just gonna hang out today. Probably do some uh, day hikes. We're gonna probably take a little, little afternoon nap. We got some good food, probably actually boil for lunch for once. And uh, yeah, it's, it's raining right now, so it's probably a good day to uh, set up early. But that's just kind of the way we planned it with an out and back, so nice short day. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do a little camp tour, see what we got going on. So I'm set up right here, kind of in quarter por porch mode here. Got my pack attached to my hammock. And then what I do is I just take a, take a little stick here. You actually put the loop up through here, put the stick in, and then it holds your bag off the ground and underneath the tarp so it's not getting wet. So it's a good deal. Uh, I've got the Gossamer Gear 8th inch pad underneath. Got all my goods. Got my food bag uh, here. Got my pot, rain mitts, uh, battery bank, hat, and then just kind of my ditty bag and some water. So it's nice to have this 8th inch pad. It only weighs a few ounces and uh, can throw it in the hammock if uh, things are cold and I'm worried about getting cold in the night, which usually never happens. Um, but it's also a good gear organizer to keep things off the wet ground. Um, as far as the rest of the setup, I've got the uh, Superior Gear 45 Elite Hammock. I also have their uh, kind of rain cover here, which snaps in, which is uh, super nice. Got the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree quilt. Got my pillow, and then I actually just uh, have a piece of shock cord on it. And that attaches on the top so it keeps it from uh, falling on the ground, falling out of the hammock, and uh, keeps it right where you want it. I've um, got the tarp, which has been awesome. I've had this for years. This is the Hammock Gear 12-foot Dyneema tarp with the doors. I have the doors closed on this end and then obviously open on this end. And man, this just keeps you nice and dry. It gives you a nice little pitter-pat when the rain's going. It's just a, it's a great tarp. And what I love about Dyneema is uh, the fact that it never... Uh, really stretches and it doesn't absorb water so your tarp doesn't gain a bunch of extra water weight and it doesn't uh, um, stretch out and you have to reposition in the middle of the night so super solid um, also have Danny's at Superior Gear his uh, stuff sack and that just clips onto the ridge line so in there right now I think I have an extra pair of uh, socks got my uh, my Torrid Apex from Enlightened Equipment my puffy jacket then I've got some socks uh, just uh, drying out a little bit there. So uh, that's it. So we're just going to hang out today. So it's going to be a good one. I don't get many opportunities to do low mileage trips and uh, just kind of sit and enjoy. So now we got some nice fall colors, got a little rain going on and just uh, a beautiful day of brewing. So we're going to get to it. You top it. Mm -mm. You enjoy it. Oh yeah. Pack of gourmet doesn't disappoint. Especially in the rain. No, definitely not. Happy hour, queso. It's good stuff. Sparkle baby, what you got? I'm gonna risk risk it all as always. Oh, strong start. Eh, let's just bank it. Let's just play the conservative game. You know what? Go the juice route. Paid on last diamond. time. Yeah. <laughs> did it. Winner, winner. All right, it's around two o'clock. Kind of lounging, playing some games for the last couple hours. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go get some water. Uh, we're staying at the Pine Bluff campsite. Pretty solid spot. There's lots of, lots of tent opportunities and spots for, cam for hammocks here. Uh, so Reezy and I are going to take a little walk. I think it's 0.8 miles to uh, get to the lake. Uh, it'd be easier to fill up for water in a lake than uh, Lake Superior because the waves are crashing. Not as bad as yesterday, but still it's a little annoying. So yeah, we're going to go a little day hike and then get some water and then head back. This is uh, Trapper's Lake. So we're gonna get some water. And this site, these couple sites here, right on the water. I mean, not bad. If we would have known. Probably would have stayed here. I think we had enough time. We could have made it. Yeah. Probably could have made it today. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> we could still make it happen. Dude, the water looks nice. Yeah, pretty lake though. Nice colors there. Mm -hmm. 
One scoop. Oh, so nice. That's how the pros do it. Yep. Those new filters out of the box. Pretty nice. Well, look at that. There is a sun. Real nice. Real nice. Colors are popping now, too. Nice spot. Love the sunshine. Reezy was kind enough to uh, pack up some Ruma cubes, so we got a nice, nice little game going. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, entertainment. We got beers, we got snacks, we got games. Say my first rodeo. Pocket Ruma cube. Gotta love it. All right, well that's gonna be a wrap on today. Pretty lazy, didn't do a lot. Laid around, played a bunch of games, walked on the beach. It was a good time. Now we're doing uh, second dinner. I did a uh, just a regular ramen for uh, first dinner. Now it's a little bit later, about seven o'clock. Now it's real dinner time. Doing some uh, pack of gourmet, Texas State Fair chili. Got some M&Ms and a double hot drink. Got the sea salt caramel from uh, Target. So it should be delicious. Reed, you got the same, right? except I got the generic Swiss Miss. But other than that, same meal. Still good. Still no complaints. Good. Anyway, going to call this one. Been a good day. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Maybe three miles in for the day we got on the trail well, about like 930. Again, not a huge rush to get on the trail because it was raining and we only have about 15 miles to do so really no rush so yeah we're just uh, maybe three miles in it's been raining kind of on and off and that's kind of the way it's supposed to be all day so just kind of uh, expecting rain at this point which is fine but yeah temps maybe low maybe mid 40s so it's cool so we got rain gear on just for the wind and uh, also the rain when it kind of comes and goes so yeah it's gonna be a good day like I said only about 15 miles and then uh, we'll set up camp tonight and then I think we have nine miles back to the car tomorrow, so another pretty short day. But yeah, another day of Picture of Rocks, another good one. We're gonna enjoy this trail time.
All right, it's business time. Let's check out uh, check out what they got in the UP for accommodations. Look at that. Two walls and a seat. Not too shabby. Got the bidet. Got the hand sani. Good to go. Got a little fog out there now. It's been raining for quite a while. Whew. Been pouring most of the day. I think Reezy and I are still doing real good, passing people that uh, look pretty miserable. But get the right gear, stay warm and dry. The old shake dry jacket, doing real well. Nothing's wetting out, toasty warm inside, totally dry. Good stuff. Even with the dumping buckets, still a fun day. Ooh wee, it was pouring when we were setting up. Last like maybe a couple miles is just dumping and then we got, uh, got to camp and started just dumping even more. So we set the tarp up. I'm just uh, sitting here on the mat. Breezy, you all set up? At uh, least got the tarp up? I got the tarp coverage, so I'm dry enough. Yep. Yeah, so anyway, that's the nice thing about tarp. You can just throw it up and then throw all your junk underneath and you're good to go. So now we'll just kind of spend our time drying out and getting the hammocks up and kind of getting prepped. We haven't uh, had any lunch yet. We decided to push it uh, 15 miles and uh, just kind of get to camp and get set up and then dry off and then have lunch and probably a late dinner. But yeah, we're staying at a Potato Patch is the name of the campsite. It's maybe nine miles uh, from the end to get back to our car. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out. Uh, what time is it? It's 2.54. So we must've got here maybe about 2.45 and set up quick and uh, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna relax, enjoy, dry out and uh, yeah, enjoy the last night on the uh, pictured rock site. Finishing up some dinner, the uh, Peak Refuel Chicken Coconut Curry. Pretty solid, pretty solid. It's got big chunks of chicken and uh, carrots and good flavor and consistency. i give it a thumbs up. Uh, Reezy and I are just gonna probably play some Farkle, play some games and then just hang out a little bit. And uh, the skies are just still a little angry, so it probably doesn't come through in the video, but it could definitely rain at any time, so. Don't forget the best part. What we got? Mom's banana pudding. Look at that. Mm -mm. If you haven't had it before, that's gourmet. Missing out. Does it right. Anyway, we'll see y'all in the morning. Cold dance. Cold dance. Come on, big money. Coming down, high, dry, and warm, doing good, but man, it's like sleeting, hailing, really coming down right now. Oh, it's real calm. Definitely the calm as we've seen it. Yeah, fog or rain, either way we're going into it. Yippee! All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Reezy and I are on the hike out. We stayed at uh, Potato Patch campsite last night, which is like exactly nine miles from the trailhead parking lot in Munising, I think it's called. So yeah, we got uh, maybe two miles, maybe a little bit less, so should be there pretty shortly, but man, pictured rocks, great. It was just, it was better than expected. I knew there'd be views. I knew, I was hoping the colors would still be good, but I guess I wasn't expecting the amount of views. The, the cliffs were bigger, the views were better and there was just, quite frankly, more of them. So I would highly recommend Pictured Rocks in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's just, uh, the terrain's really easy, it's really manageable. Only maybe four or five decent climbs. The rest is pretty flat. Huge cliffs, huge overlooks, tons of waterfalls. Um, yeah, and then one thing I wasn't expecting is the tropical vibe. 
It actually reminds me a little bit of the uh, North Shore on Kauai, just because there's big cliffs, lots of vegetation, and, uh, hold on, there's a stream here. Lots of vegetation and white sandy beaches with uh, big sandy, cl big cliffs and um, turquoise water. So I definitely wasn't expecting the tropical vibe that Pictured Rocks has. I mean, the North Shore of um, along Lake Superior in Minnesota doesn't look like this. It's really cool, but it definitely doesn't have the tropical vibe. So yeah, if you're considering Pictured Rocks, would highly recommend, but anyway, going to finish up the last uh, about mile and a half here, get back to the car, slam some food on the way home, and then we have about a seven hour drive. So we're gonna get to it, but thanks for coming along on this adventure. Until the next one, juice. Out.